What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page with the top edge of the nose. We're gonna start over on the left. Let's draw a curve going up the middle and we'll bend that back down on the right. Now let's connect the ends with another curve coming down the middle and then back up. Let's add a small highlight oval along the top of the nose and then we'll fill the bottom of the nose in black. Now from here, and draw the top edge of the muzzle going up above the nose. So let's step over toward the left, then it's up in the middle, and then back down towards the right. Let's fold the side of the muzzle in behind. So we step up on the left side, go around, and then bend that in. Line that up on the right and do the same thing. Let's tuck the bottom of the muzzle in behind. So we step up, come down in the middle, round this out, and then go up. Let's tuck the right eye in behind the muzzle. So we're gonna step over towards the right side, draw a circle, go all the way around, come down towards the bottom, and then tuck that in. Let's add a thick edge along the outside. So we're gonna start from the top, come around towards the bottom, and then in. And we'll fill the outside of the eye in black. draw the top of the eyelid, we go up and then down. Now in the center, we're gonna move in and draw a small circle for the pupil. Now I'm gonna leave a gap and draw the eye patch on the left side. Let's start by lining up the top of the eye, then this up and then down toward the outside. And we'll connect the ends with a curve, almost like a half oval. Come down in towards the cheek, from the inside, bend this down and then out. Let's add that strap in the center with two straight lines. From the outside of the muzzle, let's draw on the fur cheeks. Let's start on the bottom left, and bend this out, and then curl that up on the end. Let's line this up on the right. Going out, and we'll bend that up. Let's taper this back in towards the side of the head. And I'll add a shorter point along the top. So halfway along this curl, going out and then up. Bend this down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's round up the side of the head. Starting over on the left, we're gonna step down, go up, and then bend that in. Let's add a socket for the ears. On the left, bend this in, and then up. Now I'm gonna add two bumps along the top of the head, leaving a gap in the center. So I'll start on the left, going up and then down. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add those three hairs along the top of the head. Starting on the left, then it's up and out. Taper that back in. Let's add another one, bending this up and out towards the right and then we'll bring that back down. Let's add one smaller point on the right side. And then we'll go back and add in the eyebrows. Let's start over on the left side, bend this up, and pull that down on the inside. Line this up on the right, going up and then down. Let's round out the inside of the brow. Now I just want to taper the eyebrow, going up, and then out towards a point. Let's add that strap over on the left side from the corner, bend this out and up, step down and draw that again. Now I'm going to go and fill the inside of the eyebrows in black. And then I'm gonna to switch to a thick black marker and fill the inside of the eye patch and the straps. Now 
Let's tuck the lower jaw underneath. We're gonna start from the side. We're gonna round this out and pull that in. And connect the bottom with another curve. Coming down the middle and then up. Let's add two large fangs on either side. Come down and in. Taper this out and then up. Let's add a couple smaller fangs on the inside. And we'll add one more set. Now I want to add a scar in behind that eye patch. Starting from the top, then it's up and in towards the eyebrow. And then taper that back down. Let's add a scar underneath on the left side. Coming down. And now we're going to detach the ears from the head. From this point, we're going to step up, curve the ear, going up, and then bend that out towards the end. Let's line this up on the right. Going up, and then bending that out. Let's round out the bottom, coming down, bending this back in. Let's close off the base of the ear with a curve. Let's connect the ears to the head with two straight angle lines. And then we're gonna trace the ears along the inside. Start from the top, just working our way around with an even space gap. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month or catch more free tutorials on our Excel sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. So subscribe or join today.